and another exciting hour here from CARS, the Congress of Automotive Repair and Service. I, I got to tell you, it's just one, one of those complete weeks that, that's been pandemonium since we've gotten to the Big Easy here, which we had a great trip over, and we set up for a couple days. My, my car clinic team has done an outstanding job. So uh, before I forget, I want to start this program off with telling you that and sharing with you the information that our stage here, uh, the folks from Hanley Wood, who we, we've been in contact with for several months uh, to, to put together logistically uh, what it takes to, to go on the road, to build a stage, to present, and then to get here and, and everything work, and then everything work beyond your expectations. It, it's just like, I don't know, like buying a brand new automobile. It's, it's great to repair an automobile, but it's just something about sitting in a brand new one. So we're in a brand new one today. And coming up, I want you to stick around because during the first segment of this hour of Bobby Likas Car Clinic, Lindsay Roberts, the director of Hanley Wood, who puts on this show for Automotive Service Association for CARS, and CARS is the Congress of Automotive Repair and Service, and NACE, which is the International Auto Body Contest, and in, ASRW, in, in Automotive Service and Repair Week. That, that, there's a lot of acronyms there, so maybe when I come back, uh, Lindsay can share with you what they all mean and what they all mean to you as car owners and technicians. I'm Bobby Likas. I'll be back after this short break. Don't go away. I smile because I have a lot to smile about. This is a fantastic event. Uh, we're broadcasting live from the CARS, the Congress of Automotive Repair and Service. Uh, it's an event that is an annual event. It's for technicians, and it's more education than it is well, gosh, I didn't know that education could be so much fun, and it really is. Uh, with me is Lindsay Roberts. She's the director of Hanley Wood Ex Exhibitions and uh, a primary driver in making all of this happen behind the scenes, and we've got her on the front of the scenes. Lindsay, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Thank Family. you. Glad to be here. Well, are you happy? I'm happy, yeah. We're day three of a very successful show so far, so I have plenty to smile about as well. All, all of the uh, uh, emails back and forth and all the conversations and all of the logistics, there's just so much that goes on to one of these broadcasts, and, and uh, not only the broadcast, but uh, the show and the show floor. Uh, how long have you been with Hanley Wood? Give me an overview of, of Lindsay Roberts. I started with Hanley Wood in 2001, so I've been doing this about 12 years. Yeah, yeah, I was pretty young when I started, but once you get the trade show bug, what do you mean? You're you just... still pretty young. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. I appreciate it. Once you get the trade show bug, you just can't get out of it. It's things like these working a full year to bring something like this together that makes it all worth it. So I think people think it's a little bit easier. You show up. It's a four-day show. Surely it doesn't take that long to produce, but just like your show, there's a lot of behind the scenes work. So we have a team of about five or six people that manage the show for ASA, and we work all year long for it just to make this happen. So we're excited. Well, as well, you should be. Uh, the cars, I understand there's like a 73% increase, and in, give us an overview of where we are today. Uh, as compared to last year, and where you see the trend. Is there a trend of growth? There is. So let me give you a little bit of background Good. about the show. Automotive Service and Repair Week was formed four or five years ago by ASA. They were producing two different events. It was NACE, obviously, the collision side of the show. They were also producing another show called Cars, which was a smaller member show only for ASA members. They had the idea of let's try and unify the industry with one comprehensive set show. So then they formed Automotive Service and Repair Week and brought the two shows together. So NACE has been around since 1983. It's our 30th really? anniversary. Yeah. So very exciting. Cars was a smaller event um, that formed with NACE in 2008. So Cars is definitely the smaller footprint on the show, but it's the one that's growing right now, which is very exciting. So last year we had about 40 vendors, 40 different products represented on the show floor, and this year we have 65. So just in one year, we've almost doubled the size of it. And, and how do you determine the venue? I mean, this the Big Easy, you could not. I mean, it's, yeah. like, it's like whoever the guru or gurus are, the behind the scenes, the meetings that say, we're going to move to New Orleans and have the event in New Orleans. Certainly that was a turn on for me. Uh, n not necessarily because it's so close to my home, which it is. And our studios yes. are located in Pensacola, Florida, as you know. But it's just the fact that if I can get a chance to get to New Orleans, you're going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to walk the quarter. 
and, uh, and, and of course, uh, w with the, the taxis and with the, uh, the gridlock that we had yesterday afternoon, uh -huh. uh, it, it's better to walk sometime than it is to take it a sure cab. Is. But sure uh, Bobby, I would love to take all the credit for taking the show to New Orleans, but that's actually not how we do it. We let our audience decide. So really? we have, yeah, we have a vested interest in taking a show where people want to travel to. So usually about two years out, we survey the audience, everyone. We survey the mechanical side, the collision side, the exhibitors, people that participate, people that don't. We have them vote. Here's your options. Here's the cities that can hold us from a, a size, a capacity size at the convention center and the hotels. They vote. If we can get the space, that's where we take it. So they voted for New Orleans. This show, NACE hasn't been in New Orleans since the late 90s. So it's really nice to be back. Um, we want to do a rotation. The, the show was in Las Vegas for seven or eight years. I think a lot of people like Las Vegas, but as anything, it starts to get a bit stagnant if you don't rotate it around. So we made a pretty um, bold decision a couple of years ago to start rotating the show around the country and taking the event to the audience. So we're going to try and do an East Coast, West Coast, Central exactly, rotation. and, and that, that was my, my next question. You read my mind, uh, and or, or you beat me to the punch there because I was thinking, well, you know, if I live on the East Coast, uh, it may be a stretch to, to make it out to Vegas, and every and, year, and, and yeah. vice versa, every mm -hmm. year. And then there are, there are other shows. I mean, there's SEMA, uh huh. And so you've got some of the same audience, not necessarily all the same audience, but certainly uh, some of the uh, automotive enthusiasts, uh huh, absolutely, uh, that would that would not miss SEMA. Uh, Although th this uh, this program seems more it's has focused. more warmth and more focused and it feels to me and 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 I've been to SEMA every year just because I have to go. Yes. I don't go necessarily. I go because I have to go. But I will uh -huh. tell you, uh, this event has, as I said, the warmth. Um, you meet people in the aisle. They stop. They talk. Yeah. Uh, you have an opportunity. It, we're, we're not looking at a, at two million square feet here. So uh, but it's it just very has focused. a great, it very focused. Very niche. Yeah, I mean, this is a true professional trade event only. Everyone that's here is either in the collision repair industry or the mechanical repair industry. They're fixing and repairing these vehicles every day. So it may not have the same kind of splash, but it's very focused. So mm -hmm. you know everyone in the aisles is a potential customer and prospect for you. So, yeah, it's exciting. Hanley Wood, uh -huh. uh, headquartered. Yeah, Dallas, Texas. In Dallas, Texas. Yes. And uh, uh, some of your clients besides ASA. Uh huh. You know, Hanley Wood, it's an interesting um, concept. We, we actually own most of our trade shows, and they're in the building and construction industry. What's interesting about NACE and ASA is they, they helped create Hanley Wood exhibitions. So that was the first show that Hanley Wood was managing that they didn't own. And they, um, two guys, um, went to Hanley Wood Corporate and said, hey, look what we can do with this event. We want to partner with you. And then we purchased or launched our own trade shows. So we have 12. We manage two, this one for ASA and another one in the um, architectural industry. And then we own another 10 in the building and construction industry. So we're all over the place. So, so help me understand, when uh -huh. you say you own... Uh, do you own, the, you own the physical property? No, we own the physical events, such as ASA owns NACE and CARS. Right. We just manage it for them. We have another 10 shows that we actually own and manage ourselves. And of those shows, well, what's uh -huh. the largest of those shows? The largest, World of Concrete. It takes place every year. Yes, World of Concrete. You would think, wow, concrete's everywhere. It's about 600,000 square feet. It's about 45,000 attendees and takes place every year in Vegas. Now, now I have this vision of, of uh, uh, how many yards of concrete. We, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's concrete on concrete. concrete. Yeah. And that's what it is. Concrete, heavy machinery. Heavy machinery. Think of everything it thinks to produce so, roads, bridges, all of that. So it's a massive event. Well, as you know, uh, the Ricardo Industries is here with us. Uh -huh. uh, and, I saw and, them. Or engineering. And, uh -huh. and uh, they're, they're industrious, to say the least. Uh, and, and, and also the Renewable Fuels Association. Yes. And those two organizations, I think, bring uh, a, a whole new game. They're game changers. Yeah. Because, number one, from an education standpoint, uh, the engines of today uh -huh. and the engines of the future, and, and uh, I'm going to have uh, uh, th some of the representatives back on with me, and I'm going to talk about it. You should hang around. Okay. The, the Viron. Okay. And uh, that's the, uh, it, it's a Bugatti. Uh, 250 mile per hour automobile. That sounds fun already. It is fun already, <laughs> and, and as I understand, uh, it, it, Lindsay, if you if you want to go 190, it, you put it on one setting. Okay. And if you want to go faster, 
you have to stop and put a code in or make changes. Do we have the code, Bobby? I don't even have the car. <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you, I, I've seen a breakdown of that car, and it's, it's beautiful. It's like behind the scenes here at the cars. It, yeah. You say, well, what makes this? What makes this tick? And, and I'm one of those individuals who, who love to know what makes it tick. And uh, what, what makes you tick? I mean, the, the, what part of your job do you really enjoy you know the most? What, you know Hannah? what I loved coming up here and seeing how excited you were over what happened over the last three days. I think you were a little bit surprised and really happy. I mean, people work a full year to produce something like this, and we all do emails to each other, and we're on the phone, and we're working together. But to get the chance to see these people face-to-face, -face, the networking that goes on here, the learning from peers, the way you turned that guy yesterday, you know, into believing in, in the renew, renewable fuels is, is really exciting. It's a chance for networking. It's a chance for education. It's a chance for these people to grow their business, to learn. And it's exciting to see when it happens. Nice gentleman. He, he was a 15-year shop owner. Yeah. And uh, I asked him this one question about ethanol. And then I thought, oh, you, got, you, you have to listen to Dr. Vent. And he did. And uh, he, he, he sat down. And he stayed, and he stayed, and, and he, his eyes got bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and when he left, he, uh, I said, well, well, what do you think? And, it, and what is interesting to me and what's most uh, rewarding to me is uh, we actually opened uh, his mind. And, you know, it's yeah. not the ears. It's what's in between that counts. <laughs> and we've opened this gentleman's mind. And so when he goes back home to Wisconsin, yeah. Uh, and someone says, oh, it's that ethanol, or it's that, or, or it's this, or how was the event? Well, it was great. I learned. I can't, he, we gave him something to go home with. Yeah. And when you walk away and leave an event, learning something and knowing more than you did, the only thing you can say is, hey, that was a good experience. I'll go back to next well, time. Well, exactly, and it gives you the chance to change your business, and then to know they learned that here makes it yeah. all worth it. Well, I've enjoyed our time together. Mm -hmm, me too. Uh, I thank you so much, and uh, congratulations thank to Hanley Wood and the team. Thank and you. So, Lindsay Roberts, there you go. You couldn't ask for any better guests. Take a look in the camera and say wave.